The Lord says, none of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. You may know I have three brothers. So I grew up, there was the four, the four bros. And it seemed like we were always trying to, to buy something, looking for the next thing we needed, you know, shoes or clothing or electronics uh, gadgets or sports equipment or, or fishing things, you know, a new canoe or, or we always bought them secondhand. But the point is we're always looking to get more stuff. And our mom would always quote to us, St. John of the Cross. She'd say, strive to have less and not to have more. <laughs> and uh, I, always, I always liked that quote, even though I was, again, always looking for something else. Um, there's a beautiful story. A priest friend of mine knew a family, and they were quite wealthy. They owned a, a two or three hotels, and they also owned, I think, at least two homes, many cars, and they were wealthy. Um, they had a few few children. One of the, the teenagers, I think he was like a 14-year-old boy, started going to the youth group, and he began reading the Bible. And he was really touched by what he was learning, by what he was reading. And one morning at breakfast, he was there with his Bible, and he kind of, with a bit of, bit of kind of uh, seriousness and then even kind of angst, says, we have too much stuff. We have too much stuff. That, that's why we're so miserable. We have too much stuff. And the mom and dad were kind of like, you know, what's, what's up with him, you know? And, and, but he kept, on a regular basis, you know, reading his Bible and, and kept insisting, the reason we're, we're so miserable, I guess in the family, there was quite a bit of tension. It was just, I mean, it was, you know, they loved one another, but there was a lot of tension. But this boy kept insisting that we have too much stuff. We need to get rid of a lot of our stuff, and that's why we're miserable. And what's beautiful is the mom and dad, after hearing this persistent for a little while, they really felt that the Lord was speaking to them through their 14-year-old boy. So you know what they did? They sold a lot of what they had. I think they got rid of all of their hotels except one. I think they even got rid of all their homes except one and even downsized their cars. Like they really did downsize and simplify their life. And the wife, when, when she was talking to my priest friend's sister, was saying, and there's so much more peace in our home now. All that tension, it's gone now. There's a lot more joy. And the truth is, is there is a, there's a kind of a sadness that comes with having too much. You know, the Lord, of course, wants us to have our basic needs. And, and you know, especially if you're, you know, a, a member of a family, you, you need to have a certain degree of financial security for your children, your grandchildren, whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but there is... There is a joy to traveling light, to not having too many things. And of course, we, we certainly don't want to be attached to, to things, but even if we're not attached to them, if we have too much, it, 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 it just makes life more complicated. It brings a sadness. And we see Jesus, when he's calling people to follow him, he's pretty insistent. If you're going to follow me, you leave your stuff behind. Don't worry. The Father, he's the one leading this whole thing, and he'll take good care of you if you follow me.